Welcome to our show, Wireless News Mobile World Congress coverage. And I'm with Juan Santiago, he's director at Ruckles. So tell me about what you are launching here at the trade show. Well, first of all, hola. I'd like to uh, you know, say hello to the, to the people out there in Latin America. What we're launching is sort of a vision. It's a technology that will enable enterprises to improve the user experience when subscribers go and visit their buildings, their venues, they'll be able to get cellular service. It would also help the mobile operators because they will not have to spend money and time and effort into providing, improving their coverage all the way into large buildings. Is it available only in the U.S. you were talking about? Do you have any idea how are you going to roll it out to Latin America countries? Right. Today this is something very unique that was done by the U.S. regulator, the FCC. And what we're hoping to happen is that we're going to demonstrate it here in the U.S. to show how this 3.5 share spectrum works. And a lot of people ask me, well, is this licensed spectrum or unlicensed spectrum? And I have to explain it, well, it's really neither. Uh, it's a little bit of both, but it's really neither. Uh, what it is is spectrum that uh, is shared. So if nobody's using it in a given location, and for example, an enterprise that has their own building in their own four walls, they, if the MNO doesn't have coverage there, that means that that spectrum is not being used. So that gives permission to the enterprise to go ahead and deploy a network in there. And the spectrum is common to all four MNOs, or five MNOs, however MNOs are in that area. So that means that whatever subscriber happens to go into this building, they will get coverage from their home service provider that provides them uh, mobile service. So you sell, sell that to the enterprise. What, what's the role of uh, mobile carriers on that? I, I guess they are going to offload data and it will help them, but just comment about both sides. Yeah, I mean, the, the mobile operators, really, they're going to save a lot of money and a lot of, uh, a lot of that data that today they have to put in their mobile networks, that will be offloaded by the enterprises. That data will stay locally. Uh, now, the other thing is that they will also get a huge increment of footprint for buildings that perhaps are not in their you know priority list some you know there will be some buildings that are stadiums and large very large buildings that are have high profiles and the MNOs the, uh, the mobile operators will go and deploy equipment there but then there's hundreds of thousands of other buildings from colleges schools hospitals uh, hotels that are simply uh, not visible enough to the mobile operators and it will take them a long time to go and deploy there this will give them uh, basically an immediate footprint to those operators because the enterprise themselves will take it and go ahead and deploy it because it is good for their customers. If they're a hotel, it's good for their guests. If they're a, uh, a school, it's good for their students. So this is kind of, you know, we're changing the business model a little bit, uh, changing it from where the mobile operator pays for in-building equipment to one where the enterprise can pay for in-building in equipment. And by the way, this is very similar to Wi-Fi, and this is why Ruckus comes in. So we know how to do that, and we know how to distribute and get product into the enterprise, and we hope, hope to help the mobile operators get to those enterprises. You said that it's similar to the Wi-Fi, but what the differences are? Well, the big difference is that this is actually cellular technology. It is LTE. This is not any of those combinations that have been talked about today. This is strict LTE. It will work with phones that support the 3.5 gigahertz band, which is an LTE band uh, just about to be deployed in Japan. So we will have mobile devices that have this, uh, just another band that the, uh, that the phone will support. Uh, that's really the, that, that is the big, uh, the big benefit here. We're not talking about having to create our new ecosystems. The phones will, will be there. Uh, talking about Latin America market, could you comment about trends that you see in this area for uh, this year? Right. So, I mean, the, really the, the big trend that we see is, okay, everybody is texting and so on. But especially for the, uh, for the enterprise, uh, the, the trend is that connectivity is no longer something that they can uh, that's a revenue stream for them that can charge for and so on. The big trend that we're seeing, especially with our hospitality customers, is that consumers are expecting Wi-Fi connectivity services to be available. So somebody goes to a hotel and you can't get Wi-Fi, you're not going to come back to that hotel. So the next thing is going to be if you go to a hotel and your cellular phone doesn't work and when you leave that hotel you have five missed calls, that's not a good thing. We're trying to solve that problem.
And, and talking about the hospitality and Wi-Fi, um, do you ha how, how do you work with them to plan their business model? Because people expect Wi-Fi and they expect it for free. So I yep. guess it needs to be some ROI on this return of investment. Absolutely. I mean, this does not replace Wi-Fi by any means. So we expected the hotels to still offer the Wi-Fi and have it available. I think this is really where this comes into play. If somebody is going into a hotel and they're going to stay there for a long time, they're going to sit down and open their laptop and do a lot of heavy duty work. In that case, they will go ahead and go to the, the portal and the Wi-Fi, find the SSID and get on it. Um, but if somebody that has a mobile device and they're just kind of passing through, many cases they don't even bother. They they're just enter a building. Uh, they say they go into a, a shopping at Walmart and they're there for you know 20 minutes buying something. When they walk out, they find out that they miss a bunch of calls. In that case, they might not even bother to look for a Wi-Fi hotspot and get onto the Wi-Fi. With LTE technology, it just all happens automatically, just like it happens with your mobile phone. Thank you a lot for this interview. Oh, thank you. Stay tuned at rcrwireless.com.